and the significance is uh, about 80 years ago, my father uh, was forced into the German army in the Second World War, and he never returned to this country. He always wanted to, but circumstances meant that he never made it back. And I always vowed that one day I would visit the place of his birth, and I've just had the opportunity to do that. So it's uh, it's been an emotional day for everyone, but especially even coming back here, back to the house or the grounds where his dad was um, um, born and brought up, the school, the cemetery where his uh, uncle is buried with his family. Uh, it's been a very moving uh, experience and just delighted to, to help a wee bit along the way. We so met a chap there just now for, for over some food and he's just back from the front and uh, he's 52. And he's not that much younger than ourselves and it kind of brings it home just how involved the, the whole nation is. Can you tell us a little bit more about your mission? Tell us what you're donating exactly and how much difference do you hope it's going to make? Well, I think, you know, what we're donating is our, our you know, four by four vehicles. Um, they're not out of the showroom. They've, they've done a few miles, it has to be said. But the value to the military here is is invaluable in that they use them to transfer, you know, wounded away from the front lines and various other things. Um, we've also donated a couple of vehicles to a charity called Breaking the Chains. And then uh, it's, these guys are ex-military and they, they go into the, these decimated areas, villages, um, where there's lots of stray animals that have been left. You know, there's nobody left in the villages and they, 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 they rescue the animals and take them out. But to get there, they need to use, you know, vehicles, four by fours, because the, the roads, well, they're not existent. There are craters and bomb holes everywhere, you know, and they might last four or five months and they'll need another one. So, you know, this is a, a, a repeat mission that will be happening over the, the course of the next five, six months. And it's all through donations and it's it's every single person's a volunteer, every single one. And it's, it's an amazing what can be done when needs must be done. This is a long war. It's already a year and a half. Uh, Finlay, are there, there plans to go back and get more? I mean, are you, are you planning that already? I think uh, I think it's safe to say um, everyone who leaves here in this, there's been 60 of us, I think. Yeah. Everyone leaves as an ambassador for Ukraine. And so everyone goes back with ideas and how they're going to continue to raise funds. This has to be done. This just has to be kept going. And people are so generous. The, the local people here, cannot believe how kind people in Great Britain have been. I just think it's amazing that a country 2,000 kilometres away cares so much, and it says a lot for our nation back home too. Mm. Well, even Finlay, thank you so much for talking to us. It's <laughs> clear what this means to you, and I'm sure what it will be meaning to the people that you're helping in Ukraine. So thanks for telling us about it on Five News tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you.